Today I'm gonna show you what would happen if infamous people were street artists. Hello guys, my name is Doke and the first one on the menu is Andrew Tate. I'm not only gonna paint a mural that he would paint, I'll try to make his whole artistic persona starting with his artistic name. Which is pretty clear to me. Top G. That's definitely what Tate would tag all around his favorite part of the world, Eastern Europe. He's actually one of the very few famous people in the world who mentioned my country Slovakia at all. I'm in Slovakia, it was so much fun. Right now, let's try to research some ideas that he represents. Kickboxing, masculinity, ignoring climate, scam, Bugatti, Matrix, webcam girls, reality show, and jail. Yeah, jail is the main thing that he represents right now. But what, 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 what does it mean? What kind of a street artist would these streets make? I would say that Tate would be a great OG illegal graffiti writer. <clears throat> I said OG illegal graffiti writer. He would definitely hate on all the progressive things happening in the artistic world and he would definitely sell a course how to become top G graffiti writer. Hashtag I have the secret formula. But what would he actually paint? The first thing that comes to my mind are top G tags all around the city. That would mimic him being all around the internet for the past year pretty well. But he's more sophisticated than that. The first thing I need here is the main character, the main object. What would Tate paint? Well, I've decided that he would paint himself in this a very typical pose with a cigar. That's probably what represents his brand the most, his face. The second element that I'm adding into the scene is a private jet. Why? Because private jets are the symbol of wealth and they are a great symbol of I don't give a f about CO2. Another character that I'm adding into the scene is a cobra. Why? Well, because Tate has a cobra tattoo on his body. And I also believe that it's his nickname, probably. I don't know him that well. The next element is Matrix. And I'm placing the Matrix into the Tate's hand because you know the saying, I have it in, in my hands. Like he has Matrix in his hands. He beaded Matrix, right? You, you get it. And guess what? Another character. This time, it's gonna be a woman. Why? Well, Tate said a lot of things about women. It is one of his main topics. And so, I draw this woman with a face expression that screams, Oh my God! Look at him! After the screaming lady, I do some refinements and I'm thinking, what else? And I got this super great idea. I added a banner for his Hustle University behind the private jet, which is completely unrealistic, but paying $100 for Hustle University and believing that you're gonna beat the Matrix is super unrealistic as well. For sure I have to add some money there, Bugatti, there wouldn't be a Tate without a Bugatti. And with all the elements in the place I'm starting with an outline. Which actually took me quite a lot of time because I had to refine all the shapes, all the elements. And I decided to go with a pretty clear outline. Most of the time I like to do like a sketchy outline, not in here. After the outline I'm starting with the colors and I'm thinking, what is Tate's color? And I decided to go with turquoise because the Hustlers University uses this color. And I wanted to make all of the shadows turquoise, but later on I decided to change it. When I have all the colors blocked in, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, is this nice? Is this not nice? Should I change something? But I decided that it is okay and so I started with a refinement of all the edges and shadows and highlights. And during this process I'm thinking, I want to add some extra element there connected to Romania and his kickboxing career. And so I add a flag and a knife in the flag because Tate is currently in jail in Romania. And I also added these gloves as a symbol of his retirement from kickboxing. I know that these are not the nicest kickboxing gloves ever. They look terrible, but who cares? I'm also trying to add the university into the banner, but it looks too complicated, so I just left hustle there. And the design is finished, but I promised you a mural and there is no mural without a wall. So we need to find the right placement for the design. I was thinking about some typical places for uh, Tate and the only thing that came to my mind is Romania, namely the capital city, Bucharest. So this is Bucharest, 
and I'm gonna use street view to, to find some wall. For example, here. Ow. Looks like home, but I don't see any any good wall here. Maybe this one, the tree is in the way. It took me a lot of time to find the right wall, but right now you can enjoy the final result. And this is the first wall that I picked for this design. It's a classic Soviet neighborhood. I was born in one of these and I just find it awesome <laughs> to have a design like this escape the matrix at a place like this. But I was not satisfied with only this option and so I found another wall at a shopping mall. If Andrew Tate was a street artist, he would definitely hit a huge wall at extremely public place like this to share his message to the people. Yeah, that's what he would do and this is what he would paint. Activist Greta Thunberg is my next victim. And if you want to talk about her artsy name, the first thing that comes to my mind is... How dare you! But that's not really a name. I would use dare, but that's a name of a legendary graffiti writer. Rest in peace. Legend. So, how about Skull Strike? I picked this name because it's almost in every single post that Greta posted to Instagram. It means school strike and it is an environmental movement, obviously. But yeah, what kind of an artist would she be? Uh, I believe that if Greta would be a street artist, she would just hang posters all around the city. Apparently, that's her thing. But if she truly would be an artist, well, there is a one name of a street artist in particular that comes to my mind. Banksy. He's famous. He shows up at places where terrible things are happening. He tackles hot topics. And he also gets a lot of hate. I see a lot of similarities there. But what would she actually paint? I'm gonna deal with the placement of the art first because I know a perfect wall. It's located in my city Bratislava and why one infamous part of our city is a raffinery, oil factory, the place where they deal with oil. It's huge, it's smelly, and there is this, this wall. This one, right here, which I always found really ridiculous. This is the name of the company, Slovnaft. There are butterflies around it. It's trying to look all positive, nice. I have no idea what the hell is this. Probably oil bottles? I mean, it just looks like an oil company trying to look eco-friendly or whatever. And Greta would definitely paint over this bullshit. But what would she paint? I mentioned Banksy, right? And one thing that I really appreciate about Banksy are his ideas. His art may not be the most technically difficult one, but he truly has an ability to create great art that speaks to the people. And I think that Greta, she would like to do the same, to get the attention of public. But what brilliant idea would, would she paint? So I'm searching here for Greta Thunberg art and this is what I found. This is an illustration by Obey Giant, a very famous uh, muralist who painted uh, her in his style with a little factory here. That's nice, but I'm missing the powerful idea. This one is good. I don't know who painted this, but this mural has the idea. I want to do something similar. What else we got here? Okay, so we got this mural, which is actually just a very greatly painted portrait of Greta, but it doesn't say much. I don't think that she would just paint her face on a wall. These were all interpretations of her painted by someone else, but what would she paint? Peña! Ah, not this one. This one! For those of you who don't know him, he is a businessman who used to work in oil business. He says that the global warming is... Full of shit, sit down. Shut up and sit down! I think that he would be a great representation of an evil oil business. So Peña will be the main character here. And as you are watching my very loose sketch, I would like to talk a little bit about politics right now. Because the topic of environment is very important to me and I actually study it as a hobby, I would say. And there are two kinds of people connected to this topic who really, really piss me off. 
First of all, these activists who destroy art in museums and block the roads with signs STOP THE OIL NOW! I totally get the frustration of these people. I get it that they want to bring attention to the topic because they feel like politicians ignore the issue, which in many cases is true. But on the other hand, stop the oil now? This is a super complex topic, it's not that simple. I agree that the topic needs more attention, but I feel like these actions do the exact opposite. It pisses people off and it makes them mad when someone even mentioned the problem. And that leads me to the second Second group. People like this gentleman from my own country, from my own city. You have a beautiful old car, which is definitely more eco-friendly than buying a new car every four years, but you do this. Then there are people who completely deny that we have a problem, like the gentleman I'm painting right now. These are the best. And for sure people who fly their private jets for three minutes. I truly love those people too. And I'm also starting to love this portrait that I'm painting. You know, there was a stage when I truly hated it, but then I calmed down and I simply started to fix problems. I really like this element of gas pump going into his ear, but I don't really like the placement of it, so I try to put it to the other side and I prefer it that way. Right now, I just need to show you what Greta Thunberg would paint if she was a street artist. And I believe that she would paint something like this. Hell yeah! I think that Greta would definitely buff all the oil company murals with something like this. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about my artworks. If you just love them, Tamba would be awesome as always. And I will see you in the next one. Eh, eh, uh, eh, <laughs> But what would she actually...